Hey, Becky, welcome to my channel, Notes in the Sewing Room. It's really nice to have you with me today. Today's video is all about my new favourite t-shirt pattern and actually my latest makes. I've made two different versions of the pattern that I want to share with you today and I absolutely love it, so I wanted to share it with you. If you are new to my channel, then my channel is all about sewing, so if that's something that does interest you, I'd love it if you could consider pressing that like button and hitting that subscribe button as well, not forgetting to press that notification bell and then you won't miss any of my future videos basically, so that would be really nice. Also, before I get started, a massive, massive, huge, huge thank you to everyone who's subscribed to my channel already. I've just noticed that I've hit 5,000 subscribers, so I'm literally bowled over and can't believe it. It doesn't seem two minutes since I hardly had any subscribers and I love making my videos and I want you to enjoy watching them as well. So thank you to everyone who does watch my videos week after week. I really, really appreciate it. So I just wanted to say a huge thank you and I hope you're enjoying my videos still. So that's that's great. So let's get to it and I'll tell you what I've got to show you today. Oh, actually, before I get started, just in case you're interested, what I'm wearing today, I usually mention what I'm wearing. So you may recognise this top from a previous uh, makes video or from uh, one of my other uh, posts perhaps on Instagram if you follow me on Instagram. So this is the Tilly and the Buttons Billy Jumper. I won't go on about it because I have mentioned it quite a few times before. I love this pattern. I love the sleeves. This is actually the first time that I tried to make the kind of poofy sleeves and it kind of got me onto something and now I really like the kind of poofy sleeve look. So yeah, I really love this jumper. This one I made in a kind of cropped length. If I just stand up a little bit, you'll be able to, to see that. So I've made two versions of the cropped jumper now. And I've also made a cardigan hack of this pattern as well. So I will try and link that down below if you are interested. And also anything else that I do mention today in terms of patterns or fabric companies or anything like that, I will try and put all of the information in the description box if you are interested. So let me tell you about my latest makes. So it's a t-shirt pattern and it's by a company called Pattern at Scissors Cloth and the pattern is called the Galaxy Tea. Now I've actually seen a few of these popping up on Instagram and I've been massively inspired to make it. Basically it's a really good basic pattern but it's kind of got a modern update to it. So it's a, a t-shirt that you can wear anytime and it can be as dressy as you like depending on what kind of fabric you use but it's got a chic puffed sleeve to it or a chic poof sleeve should I say and I just love it I look I love the kind of different look about it and it just makes it a little bit unusual and a little bit individual compared to anything else that I've already got in my t-shirt drawer so all in all I think it's basically the perfect modern update to a basic t-shirt or a basic staple pattern, should I say. In terms of the amount of fabric you'll need, I think you can get this out of about one meter of fabric if you are savvy about the way that you cut your material out. However, I think that's probably if you're using a fabric that's 150 centimeters wide. The pattern actually recommends that you use 1.1 meters of fabric if you're making the smallest size, which is 80 centimeters, in terms of the pattern sizing, and 1.6 meters of fabric if you are making the largest size, which is 122 centimeters. Now, I actually fell between two different pattern sizes, I thought originally. However, I since realized that this has actually got quite a bit of ease to it, so I ended up sizing down. So what size did I make? So in terms of the pattern sizes, I actually seem to fall across four different measurements basically of this pattern. So I was 80 centimetres for the bust, so that was kind of size number one in the pattern. And then my hips were actually measuring at the uh, the fourth largest measurement. So for the hips, that was 100 centimetres. So they were the body measurements, not the finished garment measurements. But I thought I'm going to give it a go with the fit with the um, with the body measurements and see how I get on. I ended up basically for my first version sizing down and taking quite a lot out of the side seams to get a better fit. So for the second version that I've made, I'm gonna show you both these versions and I am gonna put on both t-shirts so you can see the fit and the look of the two different fabrics that I've used. 
I ended up just sizing down completely to the 80 centimeters version. So that's the smallest size in the pattern pack. Now, in terms of my body measurements, I'm actually a 32 inch bust. So this is in inches rather than centimeters. I usually work in inches, to be honest. I've got a 28 inch waist and a 40 inch hip. So, um, but I found actually that making the 80 centimeters version overall was uh, best for me. And I've got the best fit out of that. And uh, but I, I do prefer a t-shirt that's a little bit more on the fitter side rather than something that's looser. So obviously that's personal preference and it depends what you like. Now, one thing that I really liked about this pattern is it does give you quite a lot of different measurements in here in terms of the finished garment measurements, but it can be a little bit confusing looking at lots of different measurements on the flip side as well. So but it, it is helpful that, that information is there. I'm just having a little look at my laptop here, so I'm telling you the correct information, but the pattern um, just give you the final garment measurements for the front chest, the half bust, the half waist, the half hem, the high point on the shoulder to the hem, and the cuff measurement as well. So that is really good. So if you want to, obviously you can look at all of those and assess what size you would be best. I probably should have done that a little bit more but instead I just dived in to begin with and like I said kind of cut between a few different size measurements but I kind of learnt my lesson and then as I said sized down for my second version but hey ho it's just one of the things about making your own clothes isn't it sometimes you just have to kind of learn from your own mistakes I suppose a little bit. Now the Galaxy t-shirt is designed for jersey fabrics so you could use a cotton jersey, you could use a viscose jersey but of course, depending on the weight of the jersey that you use, that will depend on the look of the poof sleeve at the end. So one of the versions I've made was in a cotton jersey. So that's got a slightly more structured look, I suppose, to the, the sleeve. And then the second version that I've made was out of a viscose. So that's a bit more of a softer look. I'm going like this because obviously the shoulder and the, the, the sleeve is slightly different on both. You can, of course, make this t-shirt either on your overlocker or you could make it on your sewing machine or you could do a combination of both. I actually did do a combination of both. I made it mostly on my overlocker, but I do find it easier to do gathering on my sewing machine. And sometimes my overlocker doesn't really like it when the fabric's too thick and it can end up coming unthreaded and I end up having a bit of a nightmare with it. So I kind of did the gathering for the, the top of the sleeve and the bit around the cuff on my sewing machine, sewed that actually in place so it didn't move around too much. And then I finished it off on, on my overlocker. I didn't really need to do that because Jersey doesn't tend to fray, but just to get a better finish on the inside of the garments, I, I decided to finish them off on my overlocker. And actually it was okay. My, my fabric didn't get chewed up or anything like that. So it, it was perfectly fine. But I just sometimes find that when fabric is too thick, my overlocker can struggle with it a little bit. Having said that, other people's overlockers, your overlocker might not be the same as mine. Or maybe it's just the way that I'm using it. I don't know, maybe it, there's a special technique to getting it through, but if you do know that, then let me know. Cause um, I guess I'm learning all the time. Now the t-shirt is available in A4 to print out at home or you can send it away to be printed off at a print shop or a coffee, sh coffee shop, a coffee shop, a coffee shop um, to be printed in AO size if you prefer. And that's actually what I did. I find it a bit of a pain sticking together A4 pages at home. So sending it away to be printed just tend to be easier for me. Um, but that's also because I don't have a printer at home. So you know, it just whatever works for you. But it's a good that it's, it's really good that it's available in both A4 and A0 as well. You've got that choice. Now, I did find that the instructions in this pattern were really straightforward. It includes illustrations, pictures, and it includes, um, you know, a, a, quite a lot of written information as well to guide you through the making process. The most difficult part of the construction was really doing the sleeves on, on these uh, garments. But, you know, if you take your time, if you are new to sewing, you'll be absolutely fine. And it's not that complicated. It just takes a little bit of time, to be honest, to, to gather the, um, the bit around the shoulder and then the, the cuff section as well. If you are new to sewing, then also adding in the neckband, um, you know, is probably something that you want to take your time with. Um, but you know it's not it's not complicated it's just that um it, it can take a little bit of time i guess to get it all nice and flat and um get that kind of professional finish if, if that's what you're after but it's nothing to be worried about and you'll be absolutely fine the seam allowance for this pattern was one centimeter throughout so that's worth noting if you are going to make this because a lot of patterns as you know if you, if you are um you know 
experience sewer that they're often a little bit more than that often around the 1.5 centimeters mark so this was one centimeter so that's ideal really to do on your overlocker and of course you can do it on your sewing machine as well if you are using a stretch stitch like a zigzag or a lightning bolt stitch or you know whichever is your preferred method of stitching jersey on your sewing machine so let me show you what i've made so i'm just going to hold them up initially and then i'm going to put them on as well so i've got two different versions the first version that i've made is actually using some scrap fabrics that I had left over from two t-shirts that I made for my husband. So both of these cotton jerseys were from a shop called Material Girl Fabrics. They're in Nottinghamshire and you can find them on Facebook if you are interested in buying from them. Both these fabrics are really lovely quality cotton jerseys. I would describe them as a medium weight. So this is the first version that I've made here. So as you can see, I've used two contrasting blue fabrics. So one's a kind of more of a, a gray gray blue I suppose so as you can see I've done the neckband and the cuffs in the darker blue and then the body and the sleeves in the lighter blue so that's the first version so this one I ended up taking quite a lot out of the side seams for um, just to get a better fit so the second version as I said I did size down for so the second fabric is a viscose and this was from Felicity Fabrics I actually bought this in two different colours at the time and I'm yet to use the pink version that I've got but I really love this blue and I thought it was going to fit into my capsule wardrobe, well actually both of them will, that I'm creating at the moment. So um, if you're interested in my capsule wardrobe um, that I'm creating, um, I did film a video about that so I will link that down below and up above also if you are interested. So this is the second version and as you can probably tell that is a slightly smaller version than the first one so um but I just love the sleeve detailing on this it's just so pretty and just gives gives the basic t-shirt just a bit of a modern update um so I got this one out of just a meter of fabric um it's difficult for me to say how much fabric I used for the first one I'm guessing it was around about the meter mark um because I used various bits of scrap so I didn't have one continuous piece that I used but I only bought one meter of this uh, spotted fabric so I can tell you that was just the one metre. Um, I did end up reducing the length of the cuff slightly. That was basically because I wasn't too savvy in the way that I actually cut out the top. I think I definitely could have placed my pattern pieces better on my fabric but I don't know why I would you know sometimes you just get a bit blase and you're like oh yeah yeah I know what I'm doing and then actually you think at the end I wish that I placed that a little bit better before I started cutting it out but it doesn't really matter I've just reduced that slightly um, but I think I definitely could have done the full width of the cuff if I placed my pattern a little bit better so I'm just going to slip them on so you can see but I will just say um, that I decided to top stitch around the the neck band so you can probably see I've used a twin needle all the way around here just to get that to um, the neck band to lie a little bit flatter and then I used a twin needle to finish off the hem on both of the garments as well I think if you were um, not wanting to do top stitching then that would probably be fine it just depends on how your neck band is actually sitting in your t-shirt but I found that using the, the twin needle just gave it a little bit more of a, a nicer end kind of finish to it so I'm just going to slip them on and then you can see how they look. So this is my spotty version and this is probably my favourite one of the two. I just love spots, anything with spots on I love it. So this is a beautiful quality fabric from Felicity Fabrics and I just really like this shade of blue with my, my hair and my kind of my, my skin tone and stuff so I really like it. I'm just going to move closer to the camera so that you can see um, how it kind of looks. So yeah, you can see that we've got gathering around the top of the sleeve there and then round the cuff as well. Um, I like how the sleeves sit. They're not they're not too poofy, but they're not they're not too small either. And as I said, it just kind of gives the t-shirt a bit of a, a different look to other ones that I've got in my cupboard. I'm just going to stand up so that you can see the, the overall length of the garment as well. But I do think that the fit on this one is really good for me. And overall, I made this in the size that's described as 80 centimetres in the pattern pack. So as you can see, that's uh, what the, the fit of the garment actually looks like down to my waist. That's what the shoulder looks like from the side angle. This one as well. And then that's what the back looks like. Looks like. And I'm just going to move my camera down a little and then you can see the overall length of the top as well. So that's how it sits on the top of my skirt. I mean, if I'm honest, I would definitely tuck this in. 
This is what it looks like tucked into a skirt, so I think that looks quite nice. And yeah, I think um, I just really like the colour, I like the style of it, and I think this is going to get loads and loads of wear this summer. I'm just going to slip on the next version and then you'll be able to see it. So this is my other version. So the thing I like about this one is that it's a plain top without being completely plain and boring, if you know what I mean, because I've got the two different shades of blue, or oh, bluey grey and, and the blue fabric. So I think that, that kind of works nice together. It's long enough that it's not gonna pop out of my skirt if I have um, got it tucked in, which I like, because I, I find that a little bit annoying if if things do pop out. However, I would say if you're if you're shorter than me, I'm five foot ten, you may want to consider maybe taking a little bit off the length of this top. I've not lengthened this at all, and as you can see, it is actually quite long. It does come down to my, I would describe it as my high hip, probably. Um, so you you may decide that you want to take a little bit off the length. But generally, I really love this pattern i think it, it's brilliant it's free as well so you literally can't go wrong so i definitely would recommend you trying this pattern if you haven't used it before so i hope you've enjoyed learning about my new favorite t-shirt pattern today if you have i would love it if you could press that like button feel free to leave me any comments below that you'd like to i love to hear from you in the comments section i love to hear what you're making as well so if you've tried this pattern before or you've tried something similar or you've seen another t-shirt pattern that you think i might like making i'd love to hear about all of that so just leave me a comment below and I'll get back to you as quick as I can but thank you so much for watching today and I'll be back on the channel really soon I did promise a while ago that I was going to do a kind of DIY skirt video so I have filmed part of that but I've just not had a chance to finish it yet so that will hopefully be coming soon and I'll also be filming a video soon about uh, what I made during April so um, yeah watch out for those ones and if you do turn on that notification bell if you are a subscriber, then you won't miss any of my latest videos. But um, in till next time, I'll leave it there. As I said, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye.